Squid only loses the lack of sleep in Falco. I believe it. Shotgun Kiss. What the heck kind of song, man? Anyways, you get Chris versus Shinji. Chris, after having a nail biter of a set versus Mr. E, and Shinji came back from combo video auditions. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. 86% already. PK Chris kind of struggling right now. And I know it's, he does not like to be struggling right now because one thing he really wants is that run, is this run back versus quit. He is looking for that. But he has to go through so many obstacles. He, yeah, he has to. Honestly, we could get the... Uh, did, did the Nest Ditto happen earlier? Did PK Chris? That's why he's in losers. That is why he's in losers. I'm he, sure he wants he, to get that run back He, he kind of got waxed. I'm not even going to Oh, lie. he did? No, no disrespect to Chris, Chris but he kind of got waxed. Game two was like, game one was like close, but then game two, the Syrup said, I can style. Woo! Sinji just playing this really, really good game here. <gasps> oh, that was so cute! Oh, okay. But you saw that he jumped on the trampoline to get extra height for the yes. upbeat? That was smart. It was very smart. It shows a little bit of uh, very few people. There are people out there who will use Pac-Man's Hydrant or his Fruit to their advantage, but very few people will try and take the trampoline <laughs> and make it their own tool. Never. Not that, well, not that many. Credits to the people. Shout out to the people who do, though. Y'all make this game a lot more entertaining to watch. Yeah. All right. Chris out here really struggling to get like a point on the board right now against Sinji. Oh, this could be big at the edge guard situation. Oh, no, it's going to be big reversal. the other way. Yeah. Getting the, getting the trampoline away from there, too. He lost his jump? Mm hmm I think he tried to jump back in there, and then since he hit him with the uh, upbeat. Dang. That's a really pivotal loss to edge guard then. PK Chris, and this is two stocks to one, and that percent is only growing. It is climbing. It's just in absolute control right now. A wall is building, and PK Chris cannot PK fire through that wall. And he I will is. say, Sinji specifically, when people start to lose patience, when they start to lose hope and faith, he's uh, maybe one of the worst players for that to happen against. Absolutely, man. Like, I, it's like, I feel like the Sinji wall is like it's something like the numbers wall. Except Sinji, Sinji will come and fight you. So Sinji will come and fight you, but like the, the other part of it is <laughs> that you need to be smart. You yeah. constantly, like Sinji is out here like running calculations in his head, and you cannot brute force your way through it. Mm -hmm. It does not work. Like so his brain isn't in his head. His brain is sitting next to Mars. That, that <laughs> brain is gigantic. Of his. Just connected by an extremely long mandula oblongata. Exactly. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Wait, I it's, know what that it's is. It's what uh, it's what in the water boy, the water boy, they claimed was responsible for uh, emotions. <laughs> so back to the game. <laughs> 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 I'm like, I'm too tired for have this. Have you never <laughs> seen Adam Sandler's classic movie, The Water Boy? I have not. Oh my God, that up's <laughs> bad. It's but the mandula is also the brain stem. Uh, anyway, speaking of brain stem, there is no segue for that. No, he's it's dead. Not. He he kind of just died. He died. That apple kind of separated his brain from the stem. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh, I get it. Apple stem. You got it. <laughs> that wasn't the correlation I was making, <laughs> but you know what? We're gonna roll with it. All right. Man. All right, that game one was kind of really, really, really one-sided. Right? Yeah, really one-sided. And also, at the end there, it can be possible to make a comeback on Sinji, you know? Through times the where he struggles like to kill. But you have to, like, because of the fact that he is so, like, he has options that can kill, and you have to play around them. And so when you're at, like, 150, and you have to be worrying about grabs, apple, key, bell, Neutral air. air in specific spots. Back air. Like, it becomes so much harder. One, go. Mm. Yo, user, we'll talk about that later. I have one stock. I have one stock, and he was down to his last stock. Shut up. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I was waxing this one. Like, this one looks free. Anyways. Uh, we're not talking about uh, Sw Swigzy's Sw Sw bad swim legs. We're talking about... The wonderful Sinji Pac-Man and PK Chris's mess. Ooh. Now PK Chris is getting nice for this rain. 
Yeah, this is not what we saw in the last game. That last game was, as we've said many times, very one-sided. But I think part of that was the fact that Shinji started off with this really nice combo that got, like, PK Chris to 90% or something, and from there he can just kind of push that advantage. But right now, Shinji is the one playing from behind here. It's not by much, but at the very least, it seems like PK Chris is just a little bit more comfortable having a, a bit of a percentage advantage. I feel like the stage plays a big, a big, big part in it too. You know, Chris has more space, more space to run away from uh, Shinji projectiles. I can't believe he survived that. That was beautiful, DI. Hey, great <gasps> stall. Oh man, this is, that's the thing. There's so there many go. ways. We were talking about how Pac-Man has all these ways to kill. Ness has, Ness is literally a walking freight train it without the weight of a freight train. He has the psychic weight of a freight, tra freight train. Yeah. He's like, oh. That was unfortunate. He is actually, he's the real anime boy. <laughs> because he's like, how kids in anime will hit you with like, Despite having, like, not necessarily that much muscles, they'll throw you through a building. Perfect example. Gone from Hunter x Hunter. He can throw you through a building, but Lord, that boy is tiny. Just like Ness. <sighs> it is really crazy how much, how just strong Ness is. Yeah, I also, I mean... Ooh, okay. Nice. Um, I love the fruit usage from Sinji. And how... Are you kidding me? That was still active? I thought Chris would have thrown a hitbox and grabbed it. Oh, I was waiting for the serious guard. And there it goes again. He's going to be forced to air dodge to the ledge, and that time he does it. It works out for him. He's got to get back on the stage versus Cincy right now, and it's not looking too easy. And Chris make me look like a liar. Oh, that Ooh, forward smash just barely, barely whipped it. What was that grab? That was a bait. I bet you that was a bait that of was some kind. And wonderful PK, bait. PK Chris was really smart not to actually fall for it. Now, you call it a bait. I feel, I feel like, man, we know Suji's brain is gigantic. But I feel like that might have been a misinput. But who knows? Um, the thing is, like, it, it's whenever you pick an unexpected option, Jeez. that'll be it. Right. Um, but whenever you pick an unexpected option, your opponent always takes a few extra frames to realize what's going on. That's true. And that... Uh, the Dash Pac-Man neutral grab has already like deceptively low end lag for a tether grab. So it's the sort of thing where I would not be surprised if he's like, I'm going to throw this the other way. My opponent's going to be like, do oh, Pac-Man grab. I can punish that, but they're not going to get there in time. Mm -hmm. that. So the thinking waits. Maybe he's playing at something else. Or not. Dash 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 back and forth. My that Dash Dash is unpunishable. That has zero lag at the end of it. Remember when they bust buff Ness's dash attack to kill? Don't remind me. I keep forgetting that was a buff. <laughs> he didn't, that didn't used to happen. I know. I miss it when it didn't happen. I just get get hit throwing this advantage and I continue playing neutral. <laughs> Wait, he pulled out the up smash? That was huge for Sinji. That keeps him alive. He's at 136%. He can still and use all this rage. The, all of this rage. Not only that, just all this damage. He falls out of the dash attack too. No, but he's still. Oh no! The oh, bonk. he should be able to make it back. Yeah, he's alive. Wow, that's honestly, if you're PK Chris, you should have gone down there and sniped the trampoline. I know it's super duper, nah, that's duper scary. I feel like that's too deep. It's that super scary, but like, okay, he does clean up soon afterwards. But like, if you're confident in your ability to, you know, go down there and do it, that should have been a dead Sinji, right? It should have been. Well, hold on a second. I'm gonna debate with myself here because he went for the, because uh, he was under the stage. He like went bop. Fuck, and that meant there was a much less downtime in between the second and third launch. Because he, you understand what I'm saying? Where he went like one, I know and then mean. immediately again. And it was only with the third one did he actually shoot past. I think that he specifically went under the stage for that exact reason. I, I see what you're talking about. Like, because like, otherwise it, there would have been a lot of, you know, there's a big, you know, gap between the second and third uh, launch. Ooh, I'll ask Sinji about it later. Oh, no. Okay, and hold on a now second. Sinji's game to lose. At back here, almost <gasps> doing it. And Sinji now has to recover here. Somehow manages to find his way through. The back throw is not going to do oh it. Oh my god, <gasps> that would kill that woman. Lost my mind. That should be with the hydrant. No, it sends him up and away. It's actually a really lousy situation. 
But this is so scary for your if you're back on stage and the apple's gonna do it. Jesus. And that's the second apple to win the game. Mm -hmm. Mind you, that was the most anticlimactic apple I've ever seen in my life. What are you talking? It was just it was just like bonk. After that super intense end guard situation, Chris making it back on the stage, you're just like, oh boy, some sick neutral bonk. I mean, listen, the sickest neutral there is is when it works. Bonk. <laughs> Since he said, nah, I don't want to play neutral again. Just hold this. This is like a, a gamble. I think it's also worth noting that at that on that stage, at that specific range, uh, Pac-Man was throwing a lot of fruit because a lot of the times when Ness is on that platform right there, mm -hmm. he'll PK fire. And he would, for instance, throw out cherries to block the PK fire. They would eat the PK fire and they would keep it from getting They'd all the way the to Pac-Man. Oh, you're right. So that's up. something that he was doing. And I feel like the reason why he launched the apple at that particular distance, we, if we had replays, we could go back and check. But it's also because if uh, PK Chris wanted to PK fire, it would have canceled out the PK fire. Oh, so it's just covering multiple options and it's a kill move. Oh, and right there, actually spacing around the apple and managing to get all of this damage as a result. And he's still going on, looking for another PK Thunder. Okay, that was scary. Because I feel like if uh, Sinji air dodged that, that PK Thunder, he would have gotten PK Rocket and he would have died. Very, very, very good play from Chris. And Sinji's in the corner, finding his way to get out of here very hard. Oh, look at him. Look at him, he's just throwing out all these options. He's threatening. He is, but at the same time, PK Chris is not having any of it. Drag down forward air to back air. I feel like that shouldn't work, but I guess no, it, it does. It works. It's, it's, it, it looks like it sh I, It feels like there should be laws that make it that, that <laughs> should work. You know what I mean? There are a lot of things in this game that are, are definitely illegal. By illegal, it's in like, why on God's given earth did that work? But it works. Ah, it's fair drag down that's fake thing. Cause I've seen fair I've seen upper drag downs into the confirms and that's that's real as they come. Ah, uh, the Sinji Simi. Ooh. By the way, do you know who sent uh Sinji to losers? It was Syrup. It was, it was syrup. game five. Super close game five out No, it was game four was like tight. Like super tight. Sinji won that. Very dominant. No, Syrup won that. Very close game, right? Then it was on Sinji's counter pick. What a back air. Sinji's counterpick, he's kind of making the town. Syrup snatches his stock by trading it. Because Sinji went off stage to Edgard, Syrup went down. I mean, no, Sinji went off stage to Edgard, Syrup reversed, Syrup PK rocketed into Sinji, and they both just died into the blast zone. And then Syrup kind of just steamrolled him from there. So, yeah, now we're here. Both of these guys actually but want to run back. Anyway, the reason I might mention is because right now Syrup is the one sitting in losers finals. Indeed. Both of these guys are hungry to get their run back. Oh my god! What percent did he die at? Was he like 50? Ah, uh, no, he was a little bit higher than 50. But it's like, the F smash launched the hydrant, and then he reflected it with the with the F smash. <laughs> Both of them F smash at the same time. Wait, that was dumb funny. Okay. So FD is the safe choice for this one. <laughs> All right, now we're moving into game four. That was honestly a very common thing for PK Chris. Really I don't was. even know what real adjustment. I think the biggest adjustment was the movement got a lot better. You notice that he was able to weave around some of uh, Sinji's uh, projectiles in a way that he hadn't been before. And I like this choice to go to FD specifically because part of that movement did rely on platforms. Yes, With no did. platforms, it's more of a straight shot. There are less opportunities for PK Chris to be sneaky and wily and find his way in through cheeky means. Yeah, you gotta really like just play it, play an honest game here. Find a clear cut way to the projectiles, and then have to shield them and find another way in. But that's not gonna be very easy against Sinji's Pac-Man. Sinji's Pac-Man is a living wall, one that has barely any chinks in its armor. Well, it has some things that you saw. Chris take, did take that game from before. Right now, though, it looks like that armor has been repaired, and it is in full function and form. Look at this, 123% onto PK Chris. 
barely answered at all. Simji led only about 67. I will say, seeing that PK Thunder did remind me that there are ways for Ness to get disturbingly early stocks. Ooh, ooh. One wrong air dodge in this wrong situation and you <laughs> will explode. He says 116 did percent is climbing. Chris looking in it, looking a lot better. I know that one game is definitely the momentum push he needed. Look at him right now before, before he's getting washed. Washed and not by that hydrant. Oh, that's going to be big! <laughs> Adding insult to injury with that forward air. I actually, no, I think that forward air, the way he inputted it, I think that was anticipatory. As in, like, if the bell didn't work, the forward air was meant to cover another option while ah. also not interfering if the bell had actually come, landed and connected. It makes a lot of sense, you know, knowing since he's big brain and all. Definitely something he meant to do. Ooh, but that trade not working out in his favor. Going to PK Chris. They both have the exact same looking back here, but PK is Chris, just, you know, has a little bit of Psy energy. Yeah. And that Psy energy makes such a dang difference. Such an explosive difference, if you ask me. I mean, I, I don't know many people that would be like, no, Ness's back air isn't a destructive, like, weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> WMD in this child's feet. Oh my god, the melon! Melon! Just tossing it right into his face, point blank. And now Shinji is looking very poised to lose his stock in this situation. Oh, that was what so high. Right, I'm sure he had his own big hell? plan with that, but. I mean, I feel like if, the, if he caught the, the Galaga, then maybe it would have done something better, but. Well, no, I. I I, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like he grabbed at least and maybe that, I, I don't know. I'm just used to seeing like, you know, Pac-Man get a gigantic damage off of the up throw. Man, in this situation though, this is looking very, very bad for PK Chris. This is game four right now. Sinji just needs to take this one last stock and he will guarantee himself the run back against Syrup, which I know he is very hungry to he do. He wants that. He absolutely wants that, but right now, <laughs> this is still not done. Like, PK Chris is not done just yet. You know, 75% is not the point where he needs to be that worried about Pac-Man just killing him randomly. And if he can take a stock right here, which feasibly he definitely can't go down there. He's not going to just be scared, bro. It's a, I don't blame him for not going down there. Maybe, like, you know, I the do. up air That's will hit like, him. Because, like, look at this. Now you have to deal with Sinji on stage. He's getting even more damage. You took his, uh, as soon as you see that first trampoline go, just mm -hmm. just let it rip. You're already down. If he was in the head, I could be like, yeah, why risk it? But he's down by enough that, you know, he's already taken extra damage here. And every damage is really going to hurt. Because then there comes a point where, oh, all of a sudden, now Pac-Man Key is going to kill. Now Pac-Man Apple is going to kill. It just becomes that much harder to survive. What? That was the... That didn't kill, though. No, it didn't kill, and I'm kind of upset it did because that was really, really, really cool. <laughs> Just that you don't see anyone dare Hydrant like that. Unless they're crackheads. Alright, that's what like doing the job that Chris has been looking for this whole set. And now he's it again. Uh, yeah, but PK Chris almost at 100 damage already. And he's just <laughs> looking so calm and composed. You saw the way he stood there, and then as soon as, like, PK Chris throws out all this fire, throws out Hydron at him, and he just jumps right over it, full hop, <laughs> neutral air in his face. I feel like that, like, the way he stands is standing, just kind of just like a really bruh type of stance. Like, you're going to do all this? And the spacing from Sinji also. The way that he's just being inside of his face. The amount of neutral airs he's connected. The fact that he can get past all of those Psy hits and actually breach to, uh, PK Philly. Chris's range. It just feels like there's there's so much to this matchup that is just absolutely in Sinji's favor right now. Yeah. He's also looking for these anti-air apples. You know Chris is going to want to jump over these hydrants that he's been doing most of this game. Hold on. Hold on. He's off stage. Oh, he was off stage. And now, oh, he's back in the oh, corner. Oh, man. Okay, I was talking about how in control Sinji was, but all of a sudden, this is the issue with, with fighting against Ness. His power, it does so much damage. And on top of that, there's so many ways he can kill. Not to mention he has all this rage piled on top of him. <laughs> Max rage, but he has to deal with these cherry bombs. Ah, oh, <laughs> it just don't matter. I, it do not matter. 
Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what that uh, PK flash was meant to do right there. I think maybe he was hoping it would break the hydrant. Maybe saw but... momentum a 